what I was speaking of, but check this out. Um, I made up this song for, well, I made up lots of these songs. Keith Sykes taught them to me. They're called Talking Blues Songs. And there's a million of them out there in the universe. <clears throat> All right. I'm telling you, this shirt, this thing. <laughs> So, uh, talking blues songs, there's a shit lot, there's a ton of them. Uh, Woody Guthrie did the first one. Well, actually, the first one was by a guy in Alabama called Talking Something Somebody. And he just had this one novelty song that was that structure of A rhyme, A rhyme, B rhyme, B rhyme, and then you just do whatever you want. And Woody Guthrie made up a song, like a parody song of this, this song, you know? And, uh, and he made that up, and then after that, he just kept doing them. And he didn't necessarily think of them as jokes or, or that anymore. And he did tons of them. And then um, Bob Dylan did a bunch too. And then a lot of people in the 60s or 70s had a talking blues song. Um, Towns Van Zant did them a lot. Anyway, I did this one called the Talking Reality TV Blues. And then a few months, about a month or so ago, I was looking at the computer I have. And, um, and my computer, I get like if I'm reading my mail from my friends, like if, if some new article comes out in Rolling Stone or some kind of magazine with music in it, they, I get it. So they send it to me. Does that make sense what I'm saying? And this one thing said Tom Jones' new song, Talking Reality TV Blues. And... My first thought was uh, that it was just the, the same title because that, that didn't seem out of bounds to me. And then I clicked on it to hear it, and then when the music started, I was like, oh, okay, it's not my thing. And then, have you heard it? Yeah. And then he says, what, well, come gather around. It's fucking epic. <laughs> epic. <laughs> and mom, that's, a, that's also a cut. You can't, even your mom has to go, all right, all right. This isn't just another one of your drunk ass friends singing your song. This is what's new, motherfucking pussycat. Whoa, whoa, oh, oh. And I also love She's a Lady. That was a fucking, that was a good, he's got a ton of them. Anyway, Tom Jones, I doubt you're watching, but man, thank you. That was a, that, that just, you talk about making an old man tear up. That meant a lot to me. And I think the producer is named Ethan Johns. And so, brother, Man, thank you. That was that was a, quite a morning. All right, so now I'll do it the way they. We'll come gather round and I'll sing you a song about a crazy old world that was coming along until one day some fool made the decision to turn on the television. Of course, the radio reported that we'd all ignore it, and the paper said that we wouldn't have any time for it. But before you knew it, you knew Milton Berle, and we all had a new escape from the world. We were all tuned in before too soon. We were watching a man walk on the moon. He made it look as easy as driving a car. They say video killed the radio star. I got the talking blues. You see, talking blues are easy to do. All you have to rhyme is a line or two. Rhyme a line or two and then you don't even have to rhyme again. See, right now I can just say whatever I want. Doesn't even have to make sense. Office park, important game. Say sitcom, catchphrase, game show nation, television soon defied explanation as the situation took to such a degree that eventually we'd hear about a cable TV. Of course, the free TV news swore that we would ignore it and that your average family couldn't afford it, but again, they were wrong, and eventually, hell, everybody wanted their MTV. We were all tuned in, but now the shock was watching a kid do a thing called the moonwalk. It was really just sliding backwards, eventually too far. Reality killed that video star. I got the talking blue. So simple at first, it was hard to foresee the impending collision with reality, but it soon seemed TV had turned on itself when the real world came on like it was something else. 
course the actors all acted like they weren't floored hoping eventually we would all get bored but one after the other we pretended not to act as we hurtled ever forward told our alternative fact and then a show called the apprentice came on and pretty soon an old man with a comb over it sold us the moon and we stayed tuned in and now here we are reality killed by a reality star i got the talking blue Chalices.